you can't take his time and no, answer. No, no, you can't so, have my time. But, but what I'm saying, no, no, but but you, 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 you can jump in. Well, Fox 51 Good Day is your local election headquarters. A heated debate last night. Senator Ted Cruz and Colin Allred taken the stage there in Dallas, facing off in their first and most likely only debate ahead of the November election in a razor thin race from what a lot of people say that could decide which party controls the Senate. With all that being said, Smith County Republican Chair David Stein joining us now live in studio to give his reaction to what he saw last night. David, good morning. How are you? Morning. Excellent. Good to be here again. I appreciate it. Um, yes, so sir. it was a pretty, like we just said, it was a pretty feisty debate last night between Allred and Cruz. What was your or, or, uh, original reaction when you saw the whole thing last night? Well, the, I, I like the fact that they debated back and forth mm -hmm. and, and it was just the two candidates doing it. So that, that was a good thing. Uh, so getting that out of the way, uh, a lot of focus by Cruz on the record. Uh, he wasn't trying to match one-liners with Allred, which seemed to be Allred's tactic, but he kept going back to your record, your record, defend your record. You voted no on this. You voted yes on this. Defend that, and Allred never did. Of course, we knew abortion. I think they started off with abortion last night. Mm -hmm. That was going to be a big topic, of course, in this race and, of course, in a presidential race. How do you think Cruz handled his current stances on that going against all red? He was fine because it's it's right that it's a state's issue and our state has passed laws that are the current laws of the land, which he supports. So we have the heartbeat bill which was done by the states. I know that all red likes to blame Cruz for all of that, but that was an issue that was decided at state level. I thought the point he made about saying if you really want to change that, feel free to run for state rep or state senator because that's where the jurisdiction is. Uh, one of the things that I find unfortunately with politics is we like to blame everything on the person that you're running against even if that person doesn't have jurisdiction in that area. And uh, of course Allred spoke on his past immigration stances as he said in the debate last night, Cruz has been mischaracterizing his record on that. What was your kind of takeaways from that? Well, the mischaracterization is based on the actual votes. So I don't know how you can mischaracterize what a vote says. If, if your vote is yes, it's yes. If it's no, that it's no. So I'm not sure what Allred really was trying to refer to at that particular point, but I go back to again, What's his record? How, how did you vote on this particular thing? It's like the, the, the men in, in girls sports or the boys in girls sports. He said on the air last night he doesn't support it, but he doesn't vote that way. And as he likes to say, that's all hat and no cattle. And Cruz has regularly compared uh, all red to Kamala Harris for similar stances on a mm -hmm. lot of things. Is that is that true? Do you think that's the case? Again, voting record. Yeah. I may sound like a broken record, just like Ted Cruz did last night. But it's what do you do when, when the when the chips are on the table? How is it that you vote? He has voted with Nancy Pelosi 100 percent of the time. So you can portray yourself as a moderate but your actions speak louder than your words. And that to me is the issue with him. He's trying to come across like, I'm like everybody else. You know, I grew up in a middle-class family. I went to school, I made something of myself. And that's a great story, similar to Ted Cruz and his immigration story through his dad. But still, when it comes down is you can tell me all about what you're going to do, but show me in your actions. And his actions have shown he is 100% aligned with the Democrat Party. We talk about the problems that we are experiencing today as a nation, the economy, the border, rising crime. His votes are part of contributing to that. So if he is, if he is set on fixing those problems, why has he continuously voted for policies that don't do anything to fix those problems? And quickly, David, uh, my final question before we go to weather here, how do you see this race shaking out? Because we know apparently it's a tight one. I still think it's close. Mm -hmm. I, I still think, I think in the end, I do think that Ted Cruz will prevail because this is a center-right state. And, and Ted Cruz is being painted as an extremist 
and he has some positions that are going to line with people on the far right. He has also authored much, much legislation that supports Texas infrastructure, expanding trade, opening up ports, opening up roadways, expanding roadways so that better trade can take place, supporting Texas businesses. All right. Thank you, David. We always appreciate when you come in and join My pleasure. us here thank you. on Fox 51. Good day. Thank you so much. And just a reminder to our viewers this morning in the 8 o'clock hour of Fox 51. Good day. Smith County Democratic uh, Deputy Chair Cam Ray will be joining us live in studio as well to give us her takes and reaction to what she saw from last night's debate. We'll have both of these interviews posted on our website. So in case you missed it, you'll be able to check it out over on our website.